Ugh, I feel sluggish today. I know, I think I got too much sleep. Yes, I got too much sleep and now I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Wait, did the Flendersons get a minivan? Ugh, gross. Gross. We would never ever get a minivan. Yeah, we have dignity. Mm. All right, let's get the car seat in. And the stroller. Nice, fits great. Perfect. And the second car seat. A uh, uh, couple more things. She fits. Like a glove. And three car seats. Oh. If I just shove this here. Oh, come on. Running out of space here. Come, come on. Okay. Uh, oh, got it. Where's the stroller supposed to go? Oh, right. Stroller. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, that's not going anywhere. Yeah. Okay, let's just go look at a minivan, but not for serious. For sure, not seriously. Like a joke. Yes, it's just a joke. So that we know that we know that is stupid. Exactly, we can just put it to rest. Yes, we would never. Let's get this over with. Whoa! This thing is huge. Stupid thing. There's gotta be like 50 cup holders in cup here. Holder, cup holder, cup holder, cup Look holder, cup holder. Look at all this leg room. Cup holder, cup holder, cup holder, cup holder, cup holder, cup holder. There's room for all kinds of stuff in here that you don't need. What does this do? <gasps> Babe, you get like a full sheet of plywood back here. What? Babe, there's trash bag hooks. What? No hands. It's a freaking spaceship. Oh, that is a game changer. A Blu-ray player? Why is there a Blu-ray player? Because there's a TV. It's gotta be like nine inches. Nine inches? Yeah, but it's still a minivan. We would never. We would never. Ugh. Ugh. I need to say something, but I'm scared to say it. It's okay. I know what you're gonna say. You think we should get a minivan. Ugh, sounds even worse when you say it. I know, we're not minivan people, but we can't deny how ridiculously functional they are. Taylor, be honest. Will you find me less attractive if I drive your minivan? Of course I will. I understand. But at the same time, I will find you ridiculously attractive for having the courage to drive around in a trash can on wheels. Promise me we'll tint the windows? I promise. <laughs> What? I know. Isn't she sexy? For sure it is, but what happened to the minivan? We don't need it. This thing has a third row and some of the features of a minivan. Ha! Some features? That's enough. I wish I was confident enough to drive a minivan, but I'm just not there. This third row SUV perfectly compensates for that. Exactly. This is going to work just great as long as we don't have any more kids. No! Oh, you just give me a ugh. 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 Give it a little dry heave. No. Nope. Huh. That will make me heave. Give me a little. No, uh. Okay. Not, not okay. Today. Ugh. Give me a ugh. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ugh. Ugh. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you are currently pregnant or know somebody who is, please check out my new book, A Dude's Guide to Baby Size. It's the only book an expecting dad needs to get him prepared for fatherhood and pregnancy. So moms, you don't have to do this alone. You can get this book for dad-to-be so that they can understand what you are going through as well as emotionally connect on their own. Yes, it helps you emotionally connect. It's also very funny. Instead of comparing your unborn child to fruits and vegetables, it uses things that men know, like a 10 millimeter socket, or a tape measure, or a three pound brisket. Or a condom. Or a condom. Week 11. Your baby's now the size of the condom that you didn't use. So, there's that. There you go.